Nice and slow, gentlemen. Nice and slow for pictures. <laughs> this model of the Sherman tank will cruise at 25 miles an hour. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, next up, we have the Sherman A4, M4A1 medium tank. Again, the M4A1. Cruising speed also, I believe, is 25 miles an hour. I'm told it gets two miles for a gallon of gas. How do you like that? Oh, two gallons for a mile, I'm sorry, my bad. Even worse. Burns lots of fuel, lots of fuel. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have the M24 Chaffee. Again, fully restored and operational. It's got a 75 millimeter tank gun on it. It's got twin Cadillac V8 flathead engines powering each side, one for each side of tracks, ladies and gentlemen. It's got a 30 caliber machine gun up front. 50 caliber machine gun on top, ladies and gentlemen. Very quick, very fast. That tank will do 30 miles an hour. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is the M18 Hellcat Tank Destroyer with a 76 millimeter gun. This is the fastest tracked vehicle in all of World War II. 55 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen. 55 miles an hour. Probably eating up a lot of fuel at 55 miles an hour. It is the only vehicle that Buick, a division of General Motors, built during World War II. And they did it really well. It has a nine-cylinder radial engine in the back of it. It was also considered the best tank destroyer in all of World War II, ladies and gentlemen. the second M18 coming up right behind it. This is the only place in the country you'll see two operational M18 Hellcats together. Please note that this one in front of me has the rubber tracks and the one behind it, metal brick, all steel tracks. All steel on the one behind it. Again, ladies and gentlemen, 55 miles an hour, radial engine built by Buick. Buick Motor Company. Again, this is the second M18 we've got here at the show this weekend with the all steel tracks made by Buick.
lovingly restored also here at the American Museum of the American GI. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, right behind it is going to be the M5A1 Stewart Light Tank, ladies and gentlemen. The M5A1 Stewart Tank. This tank, the Stewart, is built by Cadillac, also a division of General Motors. It also has twin Cadillac flathead V8s in the back of it. It is considered a light reconnaissance tank. Quick, fast, in and out, not a ton of armor, but enough to get the job done. It's got a 37 millimeter gun on the top of it. Three 30 caliber machine guns. It also has a crew of four, ladies and gentlemen. There are four men squeezed in that little tank. The top speed of that tank is 30 miles an hour. This tank weighs 30,000 pounds as compared to the Sherman that we saw earlier that weighs around 60, 60,000 pounds. That's why they call this one the small one. The British used to call the Stuart the honey. We made a bunch of them for the British during World War II. Up next, coming up the hill, lady, we've got the M8 Greyhound. The M8 Greyhound. It's a light armored car, all rubber tired, built by the Ford Motor Company. It has a 37 millimeter gun also on top. 130 and